a while back we talked about how a ninja how difficult it was for a ninja to actually infiltrate and get into a prefecture and how they had to blend in and how difficult it, it is to actually get into doing what they do. You catch what I'm saying? It massively difficult. So I'm going to paint a picture on how they would manipulate a cause, how they would manipulate a situation, how they would use Kyojitsu or or anything along those lines. I'm gonna kind of paint a picture here, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use two different analogies, but here's analogy number one. I've got two for you guys, but I'm gonna do the second one later. So analogy number one, we've all gone to the lake, right? You guys go to the lake and sometimes you can go to the lake and sit down and meditate and you just look at the lake. When you look at a lake, you'll see the birds fly over the lake, you'll see the bugs come down to the water, You'll see, you know, maybe even see some of the, the, the water birds go down and try to go into the water. You know what I mean? You see leaves coming off of the trees and they go into the water. Um, you'll see fish jump up out of the water or maybe they try to eat the bugs out of the water, right? When you're looking at a lake, when you're looking at that, at first, the water is perfectly calm. When everything is in its place, you see nothing. But when a bird comes out of their element and into the lake to land on the lake, to wash themselves, to eat a bug or whatever, there's ripples in the water. When the fish come up to eat the bug, there's ripples in the water. When the wind, which is an outside energy, blows across the lake really hard, there's ripples in the water. When there's no outside energy, that lake is very calm. Everything that lives in the lake has its place. You don't see the ripples. It doesn't matter how much the fish are swimming underneath, or the turtles, or all the, the things that live underneath the water, the water is calm. Only when you see outside energy affect the lake do you start to see the ripples. Or, unless you see something leave the lake, like a fish, come up, break the water, to eat a bug, to go back down. Those ripples is like information and they come like this right some of that information you need to know so that you can build the, the, all the intelligence and everything you need to carry out the mission sometimes you have to plant information so you can get what you need right to make a false ripple right follow me on this to make a false ripple to get an action to pull people out. So if you sit there long enough, a ninja would get into a prefecture and they would just sit there and watch. They would wait. The art of endurance, the art of perseverance, they're watching. And as they're watching, they see all the movement. They see the ripples. They see when the birds come down. They see when the fish come up. They see when the wind goes by. All this kind of stuff. They start processing that information. They're gathering their information. They're making a plan. They're coming up with a strategy. They know what they got to do. They write down, this is what we're going to do. We're going to carry out these tactics to fill this strategy, blah, 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 blah. So then, if they have to catch a specific target or they got to do a specific goal, then they do things that fit in that environment that's so normal that everything still thinks it's part of that, like we've talked about. So let's say that they know at between four and six, that's when the fish come up and they start biting the bugs. So, a fisherman would put a little lure on a string and then throw it out there, and the lure looks exactly like the bugs that the fish eat. You make it move exactly like the bugs move when the fish eats. And by doing that, you're now part of this element that you're not supposed to be in. You have an artificial thing that you've created to put in there to create a ripple, and that little bug that's not real it's moving around like it was real, it looks real, it moves real, and it's moving, it's creating that ripple, and that information happens, and the fish see it. And they're like looking, and then they see it, and they come up, bang, they get it. That's when you catch the fish. That idea of understanding how something simple as a lake, something simple as a pond, is the same concept of how you would actually gather the information in the area, watch the people, when they move, when they don't move, when people get out of work, when they're going to work, when is the traffic 
a lot of traffic, when it's not a lot of traffic, who walks at certain time, how many people walks at a certain time, how much money is being transferred from here to there. You're gathering every bit of information you can so when it's time for you to complete your objective, you have the, everything you need to catch and carry out the objective like you're supposed to. And that's just kind of that, I'm trying to paint that image of how it worked.